Sergio Leone asked me to do a film and sent me the script and I just couldn't believe it. And I met him, had lunch with him, and I hadn't seen his early films, so I didn't know Sergio Leone's reputation. And he realized I hadn't seen him, so he arranged for a screening, and I saw about three and a half hours of his early films with Clint Eastwood. And one of them involved uh, an actor friend of mine, and uh, I called him, and uh, he said, don't miss it, just go. To hell with the script, just go. You'll fall in love with him, he's marvelous. So I accepted. And in the months before I went, I kept thinking, now, this heavy son of a bitch, how am I going to... I finally went to a, an optometrist and had uh, contact lenses made to make my baby blues brown. And I grew a mustache with a little divot that looked a little bit like the guy that shot Lincoln. I'm trying to look like a son of a bitch. <laughs> and I arrive at the studio in Rome, and Sergio takes one look at me and says, off. He was buying the baby blues he wanted, and I didn't know why until I realized. In my opening scene in the film, and you see five or six long robe, brimmed hat characters that you don't recognize, but just ominous looking, converging from the sagebrush with rifles and handguns. And this terrible moment that you just watched the farm family massacred. And they start to walk towards you, converging towards you. And then the camera switches back to the little boy who's standing there just petrified, watching these people come to him. And then into the foreground of the little boy comes a figure. The camera very slowly is coming around. And Sergio Leone had cast me because he could imagine at this moment the audience saying, Jesus Christ, it's Henry Fonda! <laughs> <laughs> of him.